Om Sai Ram Vanakam and good morning. Thank you for choosing Sunday Sadhana and SABC 2. Today we delight in the legacy of eternal values and tradition too. When we meet Mr. Kartikeya Sanchetti, an inspiring 91-year-old champion for the preservation of the Tamil culture. But first, we join the Satya Sai organization in Phoenix for the celebration of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba's message. April is a solemn month for Sai devotees as it marks the Mahasamadhi of their beloved Lord, Sri Satya Sai Baba. As a build-up to the Aradhana Mahotsavam of Bhagwan on the 24th, devotees are reminded to reflect and resonate his message of love all, serve all. Sunday Sadhana joined the Phoenix region during the 88th birth anniversary celebrations where his eternal values were highlighted. Whilst we celebrate in and we acknowledge in Bhagwan's advent, is we are aligning this major seva drive to it. Yes, and we're creating that atmosphere of festivity together. We'd always planned to have a very huge celebration um, to bring or uh, highlight the awareness of Bhagavan's teachings. The idea or the concept of oneness is bringing everyone together on one day under one marquee and uh, creating that unity that this organization promotes. <laughs> invited the various members of the other faiths to join us today, to celebrate today, to pray together, to uh, play, to pray to God, our one supreme being. By praying together, we bring about positive change in our community. Indeed, it is definitely reality of the, of the different faiths coming together, putting forth the program. wanted our, uh, the float to be an adequate representation of what we were doing in the ground. So therefore the float represented the various faiths and they traveled throughout Phoenix as well. The so love of Hindu Swami, we have dedicated ourselves to give to the people, to the community, a love offering in, in terms of free blood clinic, high blood pressure, cancer screening. We have a wellness clinic today. We have uh, various tents, we have six tents, one of which is the blood and sugar testing. Uh, we have a tent where we'll be having the music therapy. We'll be advocating the positive benefits of music. Uh, we have a tent where they'll be doing head massages, uh, basically calming people down. We lead such stressful lives. So the purpose of this is to come here, relax, feel free to congregate with other people of the, of the various faiths, but enjoy this day, praying together living together, serving together. We had a Sattvic cooking demonstration and eventually the mothers are the responsible, the main responsible people who cook food at home. So if the change starts with them, then the change is brought about in the family as well. And the entire family will adopt a healthy lifestyle. If you lead a healthy lifestyle, you can definitely find purpose in life and you can obviously lead a very spiritual lifestyle as well. We've got a, what we call a, a book and info um, under the exhibition marquee and the exhibition marquee is comprised with the different activities within this organization and also it, it embraces the other religions in the sense that is this to empower how you should be a better spiritual aspirant. Love all, serve all, be togetherness and do the best you can do for Bhagwan. We put forth this exhibition to assist you if they have any issues that they're dealing with, not to think that they are alone in the world. They have various members that they can reach out to. They have members within the organization. They have family members that will give them the right information to lead their lives exactly how God wants us to be there. 
so it can teach us as to what we were meant to be. So that's our dhamma. Welcome back. As to millions around the world are in readiness to usher in the new year, 91-year-old Kaltiges and Chetty from Asheville is working hard to preserve this culture and its rich heritage. The still energetic Hindu priest released a triple CD documenting the history of the Natal Tamil Vedic Society along with 15 other cultural organizations. Sunday Sadhana was honored to meet the stalwart to learn more about the inspiration behind his recording of Tamar Putayal, The Hidden Tamil Treasures. I came to South Africa during 1940. In fact, my dad and uh, uncle, they have come to South Africa as passengers in 1896. And I've been blessed by Mahatma Gandhi, 11 years old. And he blessed me, he told me that I must stick the name of my uncle and uh, go to South Africa, do some service to people. Exactly, that was the golden words. That's exactly what I'm trying to fulfill. This is my uh, 1940, when I came myself. I came with my mother, and he was an ex priest of Abdin Road Temple. That's my father, when he grew old. <laughs> the a Young Man Vedic Society, which was founded uh, prior to or early 1900, and another institution, uh, Hindu Tamil Institute, the both are very old institution. They amalgamated uh, during 1950 and gave birth to an Atal Tamil Vedic Society. I joined uh, Amgeni Road, Sri Vaitinatha Yishwar Temple at the age of 16. At the age of 17, I was elected as Assistant Secretary to the temple. At the same time, the same Natal Young Man Vedic Society, uh, I joined a year after and became Assistant Secretary as well, serving the temple 72 years and also a Young Man Vedic Society 72 years. It has been my long felt ambition to record the history of our people in South Africa. I'm speaking both in English and Tamil, explaining, and uh, at the, not only about the uh, uh, temple or the Vedic society, I have included 50 other cultural institutions ever since uh, our Indians came to South Africa. <music> Tamil is a very, very old language, very sweet language. Of course, it is a very intricate language as well. Universally, Tamil was accepted as one of the old languages. Thereafter, even classified as one of the eight classical languages in the world. Tevaram, Tevatirvasam, Tirupur, even Tirupur is a, supposed to be a religious book. That's one of the rarest book on music. It has most intricate ragams and talism. Anything needs attention, we must see to it. Don't sit and say, Tamil is dying. Tamil is dying. What are you doing? If we wanted to keep our young generation within our fold, instead of them drifting away from one thing we have to do, we must be able to convince the young men when they ask me questions. This is a legacy that we are leaving for the future generation because the younger generation needs something like that for them to uphold our prestige of our language and culture. I want this to go to the every person, every Tamilian's hand because 
is this such an important uh, document? I believe, like the, all the saints and sages have believed, even Mahatma Gandhi, he believed there is one world, one sun, one moon, one God. He says that the world is my home, all are my people, to serve them is my religion. What outstanding examples of service and dedication to one's heritage and community. It was Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba who once said, Manava Seva is Mandava Seva. Service to man is service to God. So go out there and serve your fellow brothers in the spirit of love and unity. Om Shanti.